Hi, I'm David Zago, a junior researcher from the University of Turin. Today I'm presenting the joint work I did with PhD Giovanni Bonetta and the professors Rossella Cancelliere and Andrea Grosso. Her work proposes a new sequence-to-sequence -sequence approach that uses deep reinforcement learning to job shop scheduling. First of all, what is deep reinforcement learning? Deep reinforcement learning is a branch of machine learning that uses deep neural networks to solve the reinforcement learning problem. Reinforcement learning is concerned in training agents to act in an environment to maximize the expected return, that is the sum of the rewards collected by the agents in an episode. An episode is defined as a sequence of uh, states and actions. The interaction between agents and the environment are form is formalized through a Markov decision process, MDP for short. The MDP is composed um, of all the elements that define the agent and the environment, that is the set of states, the set of actions, the transition function, which determines the transition between states, the reward function R, the discount factor gamma, which discounts the future rewards, and the horizon H, which defines uh, the maximal length of episodes. The policy function pi determines the action to take in a given state. The function pi can be uh, stochastic, so uh, the, the, cho the choice of the action can, can be parameterized by a probability distribution. And uh, uh, this is uh, frequently the case in policy optimization methods, like reinforce. In this uh, class of methods, the policy is directly approximated, often by a um, neural network, which is uh, uh, op optimized through the computation of the policy gradient. The job shop scheduling problem, JSP for short, is one of the most well-known problems in the scheduling family. The JSP has n jobs and n machines. Each job has to be executed on each of the n machines, and each execution defines an operation. Uh, each operation uh, needs to be executed on a different machine MIJ, where i is the job and j is the index of the operation, and processing time PIJ. Two operations from the same job can be executed at the same time, and each machine can execute at most one operation. The solution of the JSP is called the schedule, and that is the assignment of operations to start times. The, obje the objective of the JSP is to find the schedule that minimizes the total time of work, also called the MAXPAN. Here you can see an example of the 3x4 JSP that is with three jobs and four machines. And there you can see two possible solutions displayed with Gantt charts. To solve the JSP, we use the attention model, which is a particular type of ERG encoder-decoder model. The encoder-decoder model used, is used to approximate the policy and is composed by the encoder, which creates an internal representation of the input, and the decoder which is concerned in generating the output that in our, our case is the solution of the JSP. We use the encoder-decoder model because it's uh, successful applications from audio processing, natural language generation, and other combinatorial optimization problems. This type of model works best with sequences, so we need to encode the instance of the JSP and its solution as a particular uh, type of sequence. The encoder of the attention model is very similar to the transformers and <clears throat> its first part projects the input into a first embedding representation. Then this uh, matrix X is fed through L multi attention layers and this results in the final um, embedding representation of each operation. The embeddings resulting from the encoder are then used in the decoder, which is in our case is a pointer network. The pointer network is a particular type of neural network 
with uh, attention and a pointer mechanism. The output of the pointer network is a probability distribution over input tokens and is fundamental to the policy optimization algorithm. And from this we can sample or choose the, uh, the action with uh, maximal uh, probability. The uh, pointer network is also very useful to generate uh, permutation of the input and uh, we are interested in uh, generating permutation that are uh, mapped to feasible solutions. So uh, we need to define an appropriate masking procedure that masks operation that cannot be scheduled. For our experiments we use the LSTM as a recurrent neural network and the standard uh, pointer mechanism. Now I'm going to present to you how we encoded the input of the problem. Here you can see uh, an example of the of a GSP instance and its uh, representation. You can see that each operation has been mapped to a row of the instance encoding, which has four elements: the index of the job, the index of the operation, the index of the machine, and the processing time. The output of the model is a permutation of the input that satisfies inter-job operations order. This is very important and uh, requires the uh, design of an appropriate masking mechanism. Here you can see the model that produces a valid uh, permutation and the permutation can be mapped to a schedule. Um, you, you can map a schedule, you can map a, um, uh, an output of the model to a schedule by assigning each row to the earliest time possible in which the machine is free and the previous uh, operation of the same job has been already executed. You can see that uh, the, uh, the output of the model uh, maintains the order of operations. The masking mechanism that we use to produce appropriate uh, permutation uses two Boolean matrices msched and mmask which respectively um, indicate if an operation has been scheduled and if it's ready to be scheduled. Uh, we use an example to uh, more clearly uh, explain this, uh, this method. You can see a very easy uh, instance of the JSP, two jobs and three machines. And you can see at step, uh, step zero, um, the model could uh, choose uh, operation zero of job one to be scheduled first. And then in step one, you can see that the masking has been changed. So the, the same of operation cannot be selected twice. In step 1, operation 0 of job 0 is selected and you can, you can go on with this, uh, this approach until job 1 has been uh, completely scheduled. You can see that every operation of job 1 has been uh, already scheduled. Job 0 is uh, as well finished and in step 6 you, we have a complete solution. Our model is trained with Reinforce, that is a policy optimization algorithm, and we, and we use the following form of the policy gradient. To reduce the variance of policy gradient estimates, we use a greedy rollout baseline, which is first in introduced by Kuhl et al. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this method uses a frozen copy of the model as uh, uh, a greedy um, as a greedy, um, greedy solution generator. Uh, the, sol the cost of the solution is then subtracted to the cost of the solution found by the model. After each epoch, we update the baseline if the model shows superior performance to the baseline. For training, we consider four different uh, sizes of the problem, six by six, 10 by 10, 15 by 15 and 30 by 20. 
and we train our models uh, on uh, datasets composed of random instances generated with Tyars method. Uh, our hyperparameters are, are tuned, and we train our four models uh, for 10 epochs and obtain a set of pre trained models later used for inference. For inference, we use Active Search, which is a method uh, first introduced by Bello et al. Uh, and uh, uh, this method uh, samples solutions with respect to the policy. The policy is uh, updated through Reinforce while generating solutions for, on a single JSP instance. So uh, the model is effectively fine tuned on a single JSP instance. And uh, at every step, uh, a better solution can be found. Um, the method uses uh, a, a baseline that is an exponential moving average to reduce uh, the variance. And uh, uh, the model returns very good solutions with active search, even without pre training, as mentioned in the original paper by Bell. The, the bad property of active search is, is that uh, it fine tunes the model over a single instance. So the active search can't be parallelized to uh, more instances. In, and uh, if, you, if, you, if you need to solve a batch of instances, it can uh, take a very long time. Now we compare the results of our approach to some of the most used traditional dispatching rules. Also, we compare the results with one state-of-the-art deep reinforcement learning solver. From the table, you can see that our model is able to get superior performance over all the dispatching rules and shows competitive performance with the state-of-the-art. Now, I'm going to present to you a very early experiment that we did with efficient active search. Efficient Active Search is a very recent improvement of Active Search and uh, it was presented in three variants. The best variant, EAS AMB, keeps the model frozen and updates the embeddings. This gives the ability to solve more instances in parallel, so uh, it uh, solves the, the fatal flow of Active Search. As a preliminary attempt, we apply our method with EAS AMB on the 10 by 10 JSP and obtain better results in less time. This shows the, the potential of EAS, EAS AMB with our method. In conclusion, we found out that sequence to sequence deep reinforcement learning models are a powerful tool for scheduling. They can produce good approximate solutions and are highly flexible. Our method can be applied to JSP variations, that is the flow shop and the open shop problems, with minimal or no changes. From the results, our method is shown superior to traditional dispatching rules and competitive to the state of the art in deep reinforcement learning solvers. For future work, we plan to scale to larger instances our approach using EIS based approaches. We also plan to hybridize our method with classical heuristic methods. Thank you for your attention. Our contacts are here on the screen.